Whether a dev bootcamp is worth it or not is actually a very easy question in my opinion. It's just a very personal one and there's no one right answer for everyone. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why it could be worth it for you and then why it might not be. Some quick context, I myself graduated from an eight week in-person iOS developer bootcamp in San Francisco back in 2015. And within two months of graduation, I got my first full-time iOS developer job at a startup in Silicon Valley. So I had a great experience with the bootcamp, but I'm also seeing the other side of it. Now with this YouTube channel and the courses I create, I can see where foregoing the bootcamp and going the self-learner route is also viable. Here's the deal. Bootcamps teach basic intro level beginner content. And that's great. Like that's part of their pitch, right? They say go from no experience to employed developer in X amount of weeks, right? That's, that's their purpose. But that beginner intro level content is all over YouTube. And if you want to go deeper than that, content creators like myself, we usually have courses or, or coaching. Yes, that is a little bit of a cost, but that is going to pale in comparison to the thousands of dollars, maybe even $10,000 or more for a bootcamp. So when it comes to the actual educational content, right? Like the stuff you learn, I would say all that money for a bootcamp is not worth it. Cause like I said, most of it's free on YouTube or in relatively cheap courses. So if you're a highly motivated self-starter, very disciplined, I would say, no, don't go the bootcamp route, save all that money. You're going to be way better off. However, dedicating all those hours each day, day in and day out over an extended period of time, is a lot easier said than done. I liken it to, you know, people who say, you know what, I'm going to get up every day at 5 a.m. I'm going to go to the gym, going to work out. And it's like, are you? Are you? No, you're not. Stop. And don't get me wrong. Some people will, but of the hundred people that say they're going to get up early and go to the gym, maybe five to 10 actually do it and stick with it for longer than a week or two. That's a good analogy for going the self-starter route versus a boot camp. So, that's where I think a boot camp can be valuable. If you know yourself, you have the self-awareness to know that, hey, I need or, or want that structure of a boot camp, of knowing I gotta be somewhere, whether it's online or in person, every day, eight hours a day, five days a week, right? You want that structure. A boot camp can be very valuable for that. Another benefit of the boot camp is the other developers you'll meet, and you'll learn how to work with developers, whether that's pair programming, code review, you know, source control with GitHub. Learning how to play nice with other developers is a huge and valuable skill that you're just not gonna get if you go the self-starter route. And meeting these new developers is the very beginnings of your developer network, which is super important for your career. For example, two of my eight classmates in my bootcamp ended up at Apple a couple years later, and another ended up at Coinbase in 2016. So even though they're just your peers now, they're students now, they're just learning with you, they're all gonna have their own careers. Who knows where they're gonna end up? So if you build this network, foster those relationships, it's highly likely that you're gonna know developers at major companies. The larger number of developers you know, the more people you're gonna know at companies that could potentially refer you to a job, you know, two, three, four, five years down the line. And these other developer students that you meet in your bootcamp are the very beginnings of your developer network. So if you're the type of person that wants or needs that structure, you like the idea of meeting and working with other developers and the high cost, because again, it's gonna be a few thousand, maybe 10,000 plus, or maybe it's an ISA, an income share agreement, where if you get hired, they're taking a percentage of your salary, you know, for a while. Either way, it's expensive. So if that cost doesn't set you back, you like working with developers, you want the structure, I would say a dev bootcamp is absolutely the way to go for you. Now, I just spent some time talking about the benefits of the network you'll get from your bootcamp. However, you can recreate that with some effort if you forego the bootcamp and go the self-starter route. The best place to do that as a self-starter developer is Twitter. Now, every time I bring this up, I always, always get pushback. Twitter's a cesspool, it's garbage. I can't believe you would recommend that to developers. You're wrong. Like Twitter's a tool just like anything else. Here's the simple solution to that cesspool garbage of Twitter problem. Create an account that only follows developers in your industry or people in your industry. And if any of that political garbage or, or anything you don't wanna see starts creeping into your feed, unfollow those people and replace them with people that are putting out developer knowledge. In fact, I did a whole video about networking on Twitter as developers. I'll put a link in the description, but I highly recommend checking that out if you're thinking about going the self-starter route. Another way is community events. You know, whatever platform you're building for or language you're learning, there's a community around it. Again, most likely you'll find them on Twitter. Just using iOS developers as an example, because that's the community I'm in, uh, they have an iOS dev happy hour, where every few weeks it's a giant Zoom call, but they break it up into breakout rooms to where it's a smaller Zoom call so you can get uh, to know developers on an individual level, because I know the idea of a giant Zoom call is horrible. Yeah, 
There's breakout rooms. But anyway, that's a great opportunity to meet people in the community, network, meet people at other companies. So even though this happy hour concept may not be a thing in other communities, there are other gatherings, other ways to meet developers online. Another suggestion for that would be content creators, right? You're watching this video, I'm sure you watch other content creators in your developer space. A lot of them have you know, communities, Slack channels, discords, whatever. Join those, meet other developers. And then the last way I'll recommend, depends on your city, but like meetup.com. A lot of times there's developer meetups. And if you're not in a, a big city, maybe there's just a, a tech and startup meetup. Uh, my point is that there's plenty of ways to build your network if you forego the boot camp and decide to go the self-starter route. Uh, just take a little bit of effort. So if you're highly motivated, very disciplined, then no, a bootcamp is not worth it for you. Save the money. Like I said, all the information is out there on YouTube or relatively cheap courses. However, like I said, it's easier said than done to stay disciplined and motivated for that long period of time. So if you feel like you need the structure and you like the idea of meeting and working with other developers and the cost of it doesn't set you back too much, then yeah, I think a bootcamp is a great way to go for you.